Bayou Time Sports is brought to you by Terrebonne General Health Systems Community Sports Institute in conjunction with Barker Honda. Hello and welcome to this edition of Bayou Time Sports. I'm your host, Keith Weissight, joined by Bobby Arsenault. And we are also joined by Sandy Charlet, the head volleyball coach at Homa Christian. Thanks for joining us, Sandy. Thanks for having me. All right. Let's talk about, Sandy, about some of the uh, pre-district tournaments for volleyball because there's, there's uh, so many you can go to and so many great tournaments. What are some that Homa Christian is going to? So our first tournament we're going to will be the Assumption Tournament. Uh, something new for us this year, uh, we're going up to Benton. Mm. And then we're going to do the local one with CCA at the Civic Center. With Craig. You know, you know one question that uh, I asked another volleyball coach, with the Olympics going on right now and, and the success of our Olympic volleyball teams, does that carry on to your practices and all? You see the kids a little more, you know, building on that? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely come up. Uh, we talk about it. We actually share some of the highlights from that to each other in our groups and everything. Um, you know, at home or Christian, volleyball has become more popular. And so, yes, I would say it yeah. does. Very good. <laughs> uh, anything in particular that you see as a good carryover from last year? Uh, and how did summer workouts go? Okay, yes. So uh, the core group of girls, actually, that I have this year have been with me since I started at Homo Christian. Oh, wow. So as the junior high coach, right. I was there for two years. Right. And then I took over. Uh, this is my fourth year as the varsity coach. So they have been with me since the start. Um, and so that, that has carried over year after year. And we've grown together. And so I'm super excited about this year. We started an off-season program two years ago. So we had that going on uh, starting in February. And we attended a couple more team camps this year. And, um, you know, working hard through year-round, basically, since the rule change. Right. Yeah. Now, y'all, y'all are in a new district this year. Yes. Uh, let's talk about that a little okay. bit. Talk about some of the teams that you we're going to be facing now that you might not face before. Yes, yeah, so we're in a new division. We're going. We moved up to Division Four, and so we will be playing Patterson, West St. Mary, uh, Franklin, Powerhouse Catholic High, New Iberia, and Delcom. But we're super excited about it. The change, you know. So. Um, Catholic High New Iberia will be the most challenging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know change is good. It looks like you guys are prepared for it. Mm -hmm. It looks like you've got a lot, of, a lot of maturity coming through for a lot of these girls that know you and have known you for a long time. Yeah. So what is it maybe that you can point to that you could tell us will help you guys be really successful on the court this year? So for us, uh, defense, for sure, um, we don't have a lot of height, but we are scrappy. <laughs> <laughs> and so our girls, they, they want to win. They want to compete. Mm -hmm. And as a team, we want to make it to the Cajun Dome. And so whatever that's going to take, we're going we're gonna to do it. Yeah, well, Coach, we appreciate you joining us today. And uh, we, we know that scrappiness will go a long, long way. You don't necessarily have to block for wins. You can always be able to uh, bump Dig set yeah. and, and go and have <laughs> another away. play. Yeah. So, uh, Coach, we appreciate it, and good luck this year. Thank you. All right, so for Bayou Time Sports, that'll do it for us. But we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. And welcome back to this edition of Bayou Time Sports. Again, your host, Keith Weissite, joined by Bobby Arsenault. And very glad to welcome in Jamar Celestine, head football coach for Homer Christian. Thanks for joining us. Thank you guys for having me. Absolutely. You know, Coach, last year you had a pretty good team. You know, and uh, a lot of seniors, a lot of good leadership, won a lot of games, made a little run in the playoffs. Yes, sir. Uh, I know you lost you like to have them guys back, but they can't come back. <laughs> you know, so how does this team look? Like you said, we, we a lot of scenes. We lost 19 guys. Wow. Um, that, that's huge for any program. But I'll tell you, we have some really good key returning seniors that's leading the way. Um, those guys have been working, I'm talking about, every day for the summer. Mm. Um, a lot of coaches told me about the bad things about the summer, about kids not showing up. But I can tell you, as, as their coach, these kids have shown up, and they have really been leading the younger group. So I'm just encouraged by just their attitude and their approach. Look, I tell you what, with the heat like it is, for you guys to have that kind of leadership through the summer is outstanding. Yes, sir. And, and that's the thing you, you look for in a program. Um, you want to build leaders. And, and a lot of those guys have just led by example, not with their words, but with their action. And, and as their coach, um, as you can see, I'm just excited and I get chills just thinking about just their drive and their effort. Nice. 
you know, uh, like I talked to Sandy about it with the new district this year. Yes, sir. How do you feel about that and some of these teams you're going to be playing? Um, the new district is a powerhouse. Um, Catholic New Iberia, of course, they won district last year. Right. Um, but Laurel Vera was very close. They it was runner up. Franklin just won state championship in basketball, and a lot of those athletes play football. Um, so we're running into a powerhouse for us district, but that doesn't change how we prepare and how we compete. Um, like I told my guys, it's not about what team we're going to be facing. It's are we doing the right thing for us? How do Homer Christian play football? And uh, that's that's the message that I've been delivering to them and the message that my assistant coaches has been delivering. So I just want to see if we can compete for four quarters. Mm -hmm. uh, your pre-district schedule, let's talk about that. Who's some of the teams you're going to be playing? Um, this year we added um, Ellender Memorial High School, um, their 4A school. Um, we added West St. John to the schedule. Um, we also um, we, we kept um, – Oh, I'm, I'm forgetting their name. Uh, we for, who did Highland Baptist. We kept okay. them on the schedule and Ascension uh, Christian. They're on the schedule again. Um, but I just wanted to add a 4A team just so we can see what it's like to play up. Um, you want to always see if your team can compete, and that's just a, a challenge for us. Um, and I'm excited about the challenge just to see how they respond. You yeah. know that Ascension Christian team. We, we, I saw that game last year. Uh, Rohan Davies, the coach. Yes, sir. And. He wasn't bad, and a ton of freshmen on that team. Yes, sir. So that guy's bringing back a good, pretty decent ball club. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> a lot of those guys are bringing back a, a good bit. And um, like I told my guys, it, it doesn't matter who's in the uniform. What do you do with that jersey number that you have on now? Um, so, yeah, th they're bringing back a lot of talent. But I'll tell you, the way my kids prepare, I will go to play any team that you put me against. It doesn't matter if they're 5A school. I will schedule them. I'll play them because, like I always – even when I coached at Turbo, it don't matter who we play. Like, we might have a ton of talent or we might be down. At the end of the game, they're going to say, who are the Homer Christian Warriors? And they are a well-coached team. And that's the results that I'm looking for. Coach, seems like y'all are going to bring it this year. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you All right. for having All right. That'll do it for this particular segment of Bayou Time Sports. But don't go anywhere. A whole lot more local programming right here on HTV.